country where individuals, banks, and bureau de change operators are still under pressure to sell their excess dollars and other foreign currencies. This is due to the various policy measures introduced by the Central Bank of Nigeria that are still in effect. Last month, the Naira fell to a low of 1,778.25 cover to uh, the dollar against of uh, high demand for the U.S. currency and outstanding forwards on the currency that needed to be settled by the central bank. However, the, the Naira bounced back during the week, firming to 1,312 Naira, 51 cover per dollar at the weekend after the CBN announced on Wednesday that it had cleared its entire verified foreign exchange backlog. The CBN recently announced that it will sell foreign exchange worth $20,000 to each eligible euro de change operators across the country. Good news uh, for a majority of Nigerians. And even the president was encouraging Nigerians to begin to purchase uh, locally produced yeah. goods so as to also strengthen the Naira. Uh, but we know how we are, a majority of us, towards Nigerian-made products. At some point, uh, there was this Buy Nigeria, Grow the Naira campaign years ago. Uh, but along the line, that died down. Whatever happened, I did not know. Maybe the, uh, we didn't push it well enough for Nigerians to believe in their products. Uh, but we understand how genuine some of these products can be and how well, durable they are. And the essence is just to grow the Naira at the end of the day. But uh, we are beginning to see some gains be recorded with the efforts being made by the CBN and the government at large. And we hope that uh, this will go on for a long time for, until we get to <laughs> yeah. one dollar, well, 100 Naira to a dollar, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> You're living in dreamland. I know. <laughs> but then nothing is impossible in this country. Nothing is impossible on this earth and in Nigeria. It's all about us. It's all about you know what we do to impact that would definitely impact on the uh, economy of this country. Mm. It's a good it's good news because you know we were all you know clamoring or we were all you know shouting that okay dollar. I think the highest it's where the, the lowest it went was one thousand nine hundred and twenty to the dollar, uh, and now we have about one thousand. Uh, 400, 1,385, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's good news, and then we are looking forward to it to coming down. But how has this impacted uh, the on cost the of cost items. of items, you know, in mm -hmm. the markets? Because I, I remember talking to one seller, like, okay, how much do you sell these? And then she said, I didn't go to the market this time. Because right? <laughs> <laughs> that's where you're going to go. I go to the market oftentimes. So but where then, did you find the seller if you did not go to the market? Yes, I, I can't remember. But I think it's very close to the market anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I was asking, okay, I wanted to buy uh, mangoes. Okay. So the woman said it's 500, just four pieces, 500. I said, what is the problem? Dollar is now 1385 talking about Friday. We don't even import mangoes. We don't even import mangoes. So how come you are still talking about dollars? And, dollars? and everybody was looking at me like, so what exactly is our problem? So the, the women there and then some men around there to also agree that ah, I think we are, we, we are our problems. If, if you check the social media now, you see people now saying, okay, dollar is already gaining strength against, uh, I mean, Naira is gaining strength against the dollar. How come the prices of goods are not coming down? But so, let, let me try to play the devil's advocate okay. here. Now, some of these persons who cannot reduce the price of their items okay, purchased their items at the time when the dollar was high. Let me bust your and bubble. And so, calm down, calm down before you bust the bubble. <laughs> Some of them, you know, they're in business to make profit. Yeah. That's it. So if you're asking them now to reduce the price of an item, they will tell you that the profit margin is going to be huge and then they will run at a loss. Okay, so how, how do we, easier. they make up mm. for the differential? So, so how did they make up or how, how, how much would did they? they gain? No, how, how much did they gain when they bought the items very low and stocked it up for several months, waiting for the dollar. It depends. To not all goods. You can't. The Naira. No, you, no, no. Listen. No, nobody would want to appreciate. stock. Nobody would want to stock. Come on, Veronica. We, some we, things. We know how how this has been. Of course. People holding rice. People holding different bags of um, you know um. You know, of, uh, it's food it's food also dangerous to stock some things. Not everything you I can tell stock you, because of I tell you that and most, some other Nobody things. is saying that you shouldn't gain, but I tell yeah. you that most marketers they bought it low and they sold it high. Remember when dollar appreciates against the Naira, with just one Naira, they will tell you dollar has gone up. 
and they will add money to it. But whenever it comes down... Because when they, they get to not, the market... So let them continue. In when the, they get to the let market, them, let them they continue. will not buy the items the same price. Let them continue. You as a person, you won't buy based on sentiment that, okay, because we bought it high, somebody else is selling it low and I'll have to buy it from you, from you because I need you to break even. No, you go to where it is low. Let them continue. We are our problems in this country. By the time we begin to... You know, uh, no, by the time we actually began as Nigerians, you know, good Nigerians, patriotic Nigerians, and doing things the right way, we will get a better country. Yes, it's and, important and, to be patriotic, but yeah. also know that people are in business to make profit. Okay. Now, if, if you say that they don't get these things, you know, on the streets just like that, mm -hmm. those who import, you know the cost of importing goods into this country? Yeah. Then we need to begin to look into those areas, making it easy and Cheap for this person to import items. Do you know how much? For, it, for instance, BUA Cement said it, it complied with the government's directive to revert to 3,500 naira. But they said that ex, that's for expert trade price. And those who are supposed to sell, the retailers and all of that, they increase the money, they increase the price, making it difficult for people to access the price. So at if the they know those price. retailers, then they should go after them. So, but, but all the same, it still boils down to the fact that we are our problems in this country. By the time we begin, or why am I saying that? By the time we, we, we started to you know, act like Nigerians, patriotic Nigerians, they will have a better country. We are Absolutely. Ready. But there are those who are in business to make profit. All right. Let's leave it here now. Let's quickly bring you the news up.